Weather Authority Local Forecast. today in the weather department all the activity was in the Imperial Valley earlier and needless to say everything is all quiet at this particular point here's what we're looking at with your RV world you sky cam yet if any activity whatsoever a little bit of wind coverage in our area and here's what we're looking at beyond at this particular vantage point as far as what we're seeing with the satellite radar well before we get into all that let's get into a weather picture that was taken by El Centro's very own Bobby Brown this was taken earlier when that cell really started to develop in and around the El Centro area, and he managed to get a nice little perspective of that. So, Bobby, thank you very much for sending that our way. And if you'd like to send your weather picture, well, we got a weather photo gallery on our website. Just go to the weather page, and you'll find the gallery in there. And then, of course, hit up that barcode and just uh, get your picture on there, and we'll get it on the air as soon as possible. Now, here's what we're looking at in regards to your satellite radar perspective, and this is something that's been a very active kind of day here in the desert southwest especially in arizona just getting slammed with showers and thunderstorms on the eastern side of the state encroaching into uh central arizona as well we're talking about the phoenix area getting hit with some significant activity and of course there is flash flood alerts all over the place so the watch is definitely in play through saturday but the yes the advisories and the warning still in play in some respects peppered across again central to eastern Arizona. Not so though in our area. We had it earlier over in western Imperial County. Those have expired, but you see just a little bit of outflow in the area. That's about it, meaning there's just a little bit of cloud coverage and maybe at most maybe just a spritz or something that might, you know, just affect your windshield a little bit. But temperatures as they stand. Well, right now we're talking uh, low to high 90s. And of course, when you add in the heat index factor or the moisture factor, that's what happens when the heat indices come alive. And all right, here's what we're looking forward to for the rest of this evening. Again, that subtropic moisture continues. And of course, that goes without saying in the darker green areas where they still have active thunderstorms as we speak. And of course, we're going to continue to see that activity as we get on into the next couple days at the very least. Your Metrocast, 91 degrees by 8 a.m. We'll check in in around the 105 mark as we get to the mid-afternoon. And then we'll get back down to the low 100s. Keep in mind, the moisture content will still be with us. And here's a look at your air quality index presented by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. And as you can see, uh, moderate, yes, uh, air quality definitely raining for the most part in the valley. All right, your Yuma International Airport extended forecast. You can see that we are going to lower those temperatures, which is a sign that uh, could get a little promising in the rain department. So uh, keep your fingers crossed on that one. And... As you can see, we'll be in the low-end 100s in the Imperial Valley, and the chances of rain will really start to come, or thunderstorms, that matter, uh, Sunday through Monday before we start to uh, stabilize things and uh, heat things up some more.